this and you choke on it, that's your problem, not mine. Very day classe. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. Guys, it is time to talk about Shots of Sunset because I finally finished season three. And as I have been doing with every single season, we need to talk about this shit because I love them. So we need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. We are on our way to 15K. So go subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. All right, guys. So honestly, and I have been already, I will say, like a month into Shots of Sunset. And it has been like a roller coaster of emotions. Sometimes I'm like, I cannot stand these people. Sometimes I just love them. But actually, overall, I really, really love them because I feel so identified with these people. You know, I used to have, I don't have it anymore here because having friends in LA, it's like impossible. Except for them but they know each other for a long time. But anyways, um, I used to have an amazing group of friends back in Colombia where we were exactly like they are, you know? We were have fun, we were laugh, we will fight, we will, it was a mess, you know? And we have so much fun. So I feel very related to Shots of Sunset. I'm guessing kind of like on the same way that I did with Vanderpump Rules, but the difference is like Vanderpump Rules are like Americans. So um, some of the things are, are, or the way that they think sometimes, like I cannot very relate. Maybe the fact that in Shots of Sunset, they are not Americans, you know, they are from another culture and they have a different way of thinking. I relate more to them, you know, they are not politically correct, they say whatever they want to say, they have fun, they joke around, They so that part is more like me, you know, so anyways, I'm really enjoying them, I'm really enjoying seeing them grow, uh, the fact that they are literally going into their 40s, I'm like, shit, I still have time to get that Colombian reality show happening at Bravo. So, yeah, I'm very, like, I'm loving it. So, let's start with um, so many things to talk about. I'm just going to go through my notes anyway. So, let's start with Reza. Um, so, I kind of, like, understand him with everything that happened between him and Sasha. Uh, and the whole literally homophobic comments between gay guys. That's something very real on the LGBTQ plus community. It, we attack each other so much that sometimes we don't even really realize it. And it's because sometimes it's coming from a, lot, a place of a lot of pain, you know? It is not easy to grow up on having to pretend to be something that you are not, you know, and having that think on you for how many years you have it before you actually come out. And then after you come out of the closet, not always is all about being who you are, but it's something like, like you are always looking for that acceptance, especially when you are an immigrant, like when you are from another culture, because like, and Persian culture, like on uh, Latino and Colombian culture, you know, is not that 100% acceptable. So, like, I will have to say, like, I understand Reza because until I moved here, I was also very kind of like pushy away from the gay um, scene, you know. I wasn't very into like very feminine guys or like you know guys acting like girls or dressing certain way or being so outspoken you know and back in Colombia like I have to say those are like some tendencies that you grow over there I never have any I, like I come out of the class I think I was like 24 and before that I literally never have one gay friend just like I hook up with people. You already know, like, the story that I told you about that, like, kind of ex that I have, like, in high school. That was, like, the only gay kind of friend that I have. But, again, it wasn't, like, 
it wasn't like a gay group of, of friends like here in LA where you like are gonna get ready and go to the gay clubs and do gay things together no I never have that you know like all my closest friends they were all straight I have to grow up with that I have to constantly be making out with girls and trying to you know be something that I was not so until I moved here to LA it was when I started like really seeing how people were like really happy you know and I was like yeah I mean there is no problem with that so I understand Reza of how watching someone being so free can push certain bottoms on you because you are like oh this person is so annoying like, why this person needs to act this way? Why this person needs to dress like that? You know, but it's actually not about the other person, but it's about you and your own issues. So until you kind of like expose yourself to it and understand where people is coming from, you are not going to be able to move. And that's what Reza did. You know, he went to therapy. He talked to people. He ended up, you know, apologizing to Sasha for all the shit that he did, calling him names kind of like uh, outing his uh, his brother. And you know, they are part of a culture. Like if it's kind of like taboo still on like Colombian culture, believe me, Persian culture is like non-existent. So that was very shitty what uh, Reza did, did. But I was very proud that he was able to put on the work and move on from that incident, you know, and actually apologize for all that shit. Um, I'm loving his relationship with Adam. Um, he's very quiet, like very quiet, you know, so, uh, which I think it's nice because Reza is so like outgoing that two very outgoing people, I think it will drive everyone crazy. And I don't think that it will be like a, a match, but I'm loving them together. The proposing girl, I mean, I was like, really Reza? I mean, it was like, he just like it, it was like he had the the, the the ring and like take it oh do you want to marry me i mean i didn't like i was like and do it doing it on reza's birthday it was like reza's birthday five seconds so we got engaged let's go back to reza's birthday so it wasn't like you know because the proposal i mean it's more about like the two of them so it should have been their own day but it, it was all about Ressa, you know so that part i felt a little bit bad about adam because i was like he's not getting any attention it's all about Ressa all the time so yeah he, he, he didn't even went into one knee you know to propose that part i was like no i don't like that proposing but anyways i'm very happy for them you know um i hope because i'm now watching any spoilers i'm not even following them on social media so i hope that they're gonna make it anyway so let's move on to um oh mike and jessica they annoy me so much i can't i feel that there is something wrong with this jessica girl i feel that she hates all of mike's friends and this is gonna end up so badly like this is not gonna be good because she's trying i hate when people i mean my thing is like when you get into a relationship maybe there are little things here and there that you can change to become a better person but you should not change yourself for your other person like you should not change your essence because of the other person and i feel that jessica wants to change mike and those relationships never work out or no, they never work out. Even if they got married, they're going to live miserable, miserably for the rest of their time. So I can't, honestly. Nope, nope, nope. Anyways. Whew. Okay, so um, the whole Mike and, and Reza fighting, I think this is going to be horrible for the next of, for the, you know, the rest of the show. Um you never go into businesses with friends that it's always mess up it never works money change people and money ruin friendships so i don't know who is what is true what is false Reza is saying that Mike didn't want to put on the work. Uh, Mike is saying that Reza didn't want to teach them 
teach him anything at the end of the day it was a job you know so i'm i'm thinking okay they should just really like break this shit out before they move into it and also Reza really fighting with Mike over the whole Sasha thing. I also think that was kind of stupid because at the end of the day, Mike was doing the right thing, which was going to defend the underdog. And I'm also a very big, um, a very big, um, how you say that? So you see, I'm having a Latino moment here. Uh, like when... No, I, I don't know how to say it. Anyways, um, I'm the kind of person who believe that just because you're a friend with someone doesn't mean that you have to be a blind friend, you know, and say yes to everything. And yes, whatever you're doing is right and you're perfect. No, if you're doing something wrong, you're doing something wrong and you need to be called out for that and take accountability over that, you know. So that part also was messed up. Messed up. Um, the whole fa so many things shit they have so much drama in this show guys so much drama the whole GG and MJ fight I don't know what what's MJ problem honestly I like her she 100% reminds me of my best friend slash sister who we also have been friends for over 20 years who it's literally just like MJ. I don't understand why MJ had that need to talk to Gigi's boyfriend about the whole kissing another guy situation. Like it wasn't her place. They weren't even fighting. It was so catty and like so for the show, I guess. I don't know. It was like, like I don't get it. Like I don't get it. And it just created this huge fight with someone like Gigi, who you already know that has anger management issues, and it just took it to another level, right? And then you put that into sister uh, problems, which, guys, the way that sisters fight, I have been there with, again, my best friend and her sister, like, and other sisters that I know around. Like, they fight like crazy because there is so much love and because they're family and they know better than nobody else. They know what bottoms to push. Those fights are like hell. Those, it's like war, you know? So, of course, MJ was being kind of like a caddy trying to be friends with Layla. It was a mess. So I'm really happy that at the end of the day, after many months, MJ was finally able to apologize to Gigi because even though what, what Gigi did was like bad, you know, um, MJ shouldn't have like do that, you know, in the middle of the club right there. It just, it didn't make sense at all. And finally we have the, the trip to Turkey where they try to go to the uh, border with Iran. Super moving, guys. If you didn't cry with Asa's mom when uh, he, she finally reunited with her sister or, when they, or where they are at the uh, Iran border, you have no heart, honestly, because I cry like a baby. I, I was like, oh my God, I haven't seen my mom and my dad and my sisters in years now. Uh, they live in Germany, so I I cannot imagine passing your whole life, like over 30 years, thinking that you are never going to see them again, you know? So, and even though, yeah, now we have internet, now we have video call, now it's different, you know, it's not like you have to send a letter, you know, and it's going to go back to you in like a year. It's still not the same as hugging someone and feeling you cl feeling it close to you and like you know having that one on one moment, right? So I mean, this trip it was like so eye opening. You know, the culture is completely different. It was shocking for them. The le the the women wearing the I don't know the name of the whole black thing. Uh, the calling of the mace. Uh, the fact that women cannot go into the middle and it's only men. I, it, this was so like, wow, 
it was so intense and I love every single moment of it. <sighs> Am I missing someone? Oh, Lily, goodbye. That's the only thing that I have to say. No, these people are not your friends and you are not doing anything to uh, join them, okay? She is like one of those really plastic people, you know, and then people who surround themselves by people who they pay them. So they are always telling them how great they are. They are not, they cannot have real friends. Lily is never gonna be able to be real because she doesn't live in a real world. You know, it's like Erica Jane and other people out there who are with Glam Squad all day long and who are with these uh, friends, but at the end of the day, you are paying these people. So of course, they are never gonna tell to your face uh, what are you doing is wrong or any of that. So she tries so hard at the reunion to be like, I, I, I had a chance here. Bitch, no, you're out. You are not connecting. I don't think, I don't know. I. I don't know how was it back then. I think this was like 2013 or 14. So I don't know how was how like the public, you know, receive her, but I would believe that she, nobody really connect with her. Like she is just so fake all the time. I mean, not so fake because there are part of her who are very real, but it's just the way she present herself. It's like I have to live in this perfect bubble world all the time and bitch life is not perfect Okay, so if you don't let us go into your real world We don't really want to know about you because if if we want to watch a walking Instagram post well, we have Instagram so anyways uh, I think that was it guys. I'm very excited for season four. I already start I already watched the first episode So I know that Lily is out Um and I think it's going to get very messy in season four. So let me know. Remember, do not do spoilers because I have not watched it all. So put yourself back in 2013 or 14 watching season three for the first time. Tell me what were your thoughts on that moment. And what do you think about this whole thing? And do you agree with me or whatever? Let me know whatever you want to talk about in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you around. See ya. Mm -hmm.